Good morning people, it's 9.30 in the morning and we are going to be recording chess because why not? So, let's go. Cool. So, uh, what I've been seeing, uh, but let me open up uh, on the tab, on the window. I'll show you what has been happening with chess. I've been training a lot of models lately and I'm not kidding. I've trained as many models as I have uh, since I started this project while off stream. And in, the, in almost all of them, the main problem is that the value actually collapses to 0.85 as you saw here. I've been trying out some different methods of it. Uh, which is for example, I've been using something called jitter cosine weight decay. I invented that. Yes, it's not fake. And what you do is you basically apply a random noise, uh, a random scale out noise to your data set. The reason you should do this is because I've seen that even the learning rate is constant. The changes in the learning rate is uh, what really matters. Now it's my assumption, I've trained one model and there has not been any specific victory or boundary points for it. So I'm not exactly sure. What else I'm going to do is I am going to, cre I've created a new machine and we're going to be changing some parts of it. But I really don't want people, you know, stealing my tokens because that's what poor people do who have no tokens. They steal. No, that's not what poor people do, but you know. Does it really matter? I said that. Oh, yeah. Um, another thing that we're going to do is we are going to increase right now. The context size is about 85 tokens. Uh, we are going to be increasing that to um, about double of it. And we'll see if there's there are certain advantages to it. All right. So I have prepared a lot of automated parts of generating this script. If the system is really good, it would just you know it, it won't take much long. All right. Cool. So this is now going to start installing the tokens. What we need to do is we are going to change the code a little bit. We are going to go all the way here. Get data sets. Cool. And, uh, uh, and what we are going to do is we are going to change the uh, sizes of this thing. Which is lms is equal to lms dot reshape minus 185 cross 2 and the reason we're doing that is because uh let's see if longer context actually helps this thing that's one change the second change is going to be uh cosine decay yeah cosine decay not jitter i even trained networks that were just value networks uh and just uh policy networks I changed the policy and value heads a lot of times and in another method I tried using a cross entropy method for loss I mean what you can do is you can take the cross entropy and simply mat it by minus one uh, zero one and in a way if the probability distribution that you're getting is very good then uh, where is it where is it where is it in a way, if your probability distribution is very good, you'll see that if you have a probability distribution like minus, uh, 0 0.99, 0 0.05, 0 0.05 times minus 101, you are going to get minus 0 0.98, which is uh, very correct because it's very confident that you're going to lose. But again, no significant advantages to that. Oh, I need to put in a couple of other tokens. So I'm going to hide it from you people. AWS, yeah, uh, AWS configure. Nice. 
Now, A W is W and B is W and B weights and biases is fine because I mean it is an open thing, so anybody can use it. Perfect. So now we are going to be downloading the data. Okay, so it's going to take its own meta time. Yeah, change to this. I'll explain. I have already explained this piece. Hmm. So uh, when you're actually running that running uh, a loss like this what you need to do is now you need to determine what is the regression loss because see in the end it doesn't really matter what kind of uh, what kind of method do you use for actually getting the values if the loss if the uh, if your regression loss goes below 0.85 it is learning but you can see uh, here the regression loss also stays constant at 0 0.88 0 0.87 basically somewhere around 0.85 so that's not helpful uh, i have trained you know 93 models still now this model is going to be number 94 yeah 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 and uh, because we are going to be using mse value for training this as well it's fine if it if it's not um, if you don't get the regression value. okay cool so I think we are ready for it. So we are going to do a CD train dot dot. And I have added a jitter scale, which is for LR noise, but we are not going to be using that. Model is going to be beta. So you can see it, there's a value only network, which uses the value head. And, 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 uh, what else? Yeah. So, uh, what I've done is this model config now is basically a subset of uh, the pre-trained config and the initialization initializer range is set to 0 0.2 we're going to set it back to 0 0.02 but again um, it's causing the same issues but you know this is train one model we'll get more clarity Got the internet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not be. It's not. Be, it won't be able to handle this big of bat size. Ha! Huh, it's going to crash. Anyways, to, let's start with two hundred. No, not two hundred. We'll start with two fifty. Kubla's status not initialized. Ah, see, why that is happening is because. The max length uh, is the model here is not using the max length, right? There is no utilization of config dot max length in these cases. So config dot max length is going to be set to eighty five times two. And what is your data set size? Oh, it loaded pretty quickly. I can see 170. Cool. Ah, internet. Well, let me just switch to my hotspot. Maybe it'll work then. Now this particular machine is um, an RTX 3090 machine. It should be good enough for all our use cases. <sighs> the reason I'm using 3090 over two 2080s 
is because 3090 has a more has a larger combined memory, single memory size it has 24.5 gb 4.3 give or take versus what you get is a 22 gb uh setup wow what a speed speed people that is speed in india that is that is the absolute best you can get kidding me uh wait So other thing that we'll probably have to do is we'll have to train um, a self play agent. We'll see if the longer context size actually helps the um, value a little bit better. It's good. You know what? We call this thing from here. Maxlin one seventy. Uh, and you have the bad size of 350 it's not going to work but okay it's fine oh my god It's good we have these kind of checks, you know. Okay, cool. Try to allocate this thing, which is, I mean, it, it got uh, issue at scale change it is still inside the attention so we are going to make bad size um 200 let's see let's see let's see model size is this 6.5 million tokens 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 it's, it ain't working 150 what is the version number 100 going to work oh right, perfect so it's learning now what you have is version number 98 and we'll need to delete all the configurations till then. Man, I love weights and biases. It's actually very good. Let's change the color of it. Why? Just for shits and giggles, people. Let's make this pimp green. Yeah. All right. So the oh wait a minute. The loss is pretty high, I think. 4e minus 4 should be 3e minus 5 that's how uh, that's how high it should go that's why i've seen the value collapsing so rapidly uh. 
problem with high learning rates is what I've seen till now is the basically it all these values they flatten out after a moment. I see. Let's just uh, write it. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. This is run ninety three. Plus LR is equal to 4E minus 4 and max len is equal to 170. Max len uh, actually is 85 times 2. Is it this? Simple. Effortless. Effortless. I, I can't see anything with this color. better okay so <laughs> even the model that we trained here this dual set energy 18 which has been by far the best model that we have trained it also used the sequence length of 180 And 3090s are good. These are good GPUs. They're insanely expensive because you know Nvidia went into the rent seeking business. But but they are good they are good to be oh shit, we can actually be utilizing a lot more. Oh we can actually be utilizing a lot more energy here. So we're gonna shut down this uh, this run. Which is um where is it? Nine to nine. Kill dash nine nine to nine. Oh wait. Nine to nine? Two nine two. Nine to nine? Two nine two. Nine to nine. Mm. Seriously uh What we are going to do is we are going to set LR to 3E minus 5 because that is the most standard LR I've been using in a lot of my models. And the other thing is that the batch size is set to be uh, at 200. No, it tend to work at 200. Uh, 175. Yeah, let's try that. I'll delete this run for reducing cluttering, increasing readability, it's training, oh, what's the status now? And we can still use one GB. My but it's I don't know anyways it's larger than whatever I can get on third gt so that's fine. <sighs> I automatically gave it the green color. It's Deep Mountain 99. Okay, we're going to let this thing run for a while. Uh, well, what we are going to do is we are going to introduce self play. So one of the uh, reasons I've been thinking that the value network collapses, even we saw in the previous thing, it, it eventually even with longer sequences, it collapses to 0 0.85. And I believe the reason is that it is very hard to learn value from uh, the given data set. So our data set, you know, it looks like uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, it, it can go on for zeros for like 150 tokens. And then it suddenly goes minus one one minus one one minus one one, and I think that it's having difficulty learning actual value from the output of games. Hi. So 
well open so t dog uh, let's just read a little bit about um this thing how they actually trained the uh, supervised network Mm -hmm. So for policy networks, it does not learn what is the distribution of values. Hmm. Whereas uh, this is used mm. for value. Mm. I mean, see if we're going to use, uh, we using self play. It's far better that we use um, the one from, yeah, this thing. Let's just read what this thing says. Where is it? So again, it goes to like point eight five. Oh, look at this. Look at the GP power usage, man. Two hundred and sixty-three watts. And oh, the GPU runs really hot. Seventy degrees. And the utilization is also high and the time spent accessing memory is also pretty high. What does that say about our model? I have no idea. I'm too stupid for this shit. We should probably have had a better um, loss thing where we take loss a test every 500 steps. Oh, not this. Okay, right, let's just uh, put all the changes in our code. And uh, no. Oh, well, what are the major changes that we did? There's the reshape, there's the initializer range. And um, that's it. Yeah, so we don't have any major changes. So let's just skip it. Instead, we are going to do the most addictive thing ever, which is just staring at our networks and seeing if they're actually learning anything. No, you know what? No man. Now they use four T four. How many? How much does this cost? Um, GCP T four access T four cost. Oh, not T four. Uh, they use uh, TPU cloud TPU pricing. C 
seriously GPU oh they're literally just they're just you know they're just robbing the shit out of you is this I mean I have a 32 dollar per hour charge oh my god for a 4 tera idea I have a 384 dollar per hour one year commitment 167 thousand dollars three year commitment 126 thousand dollars Who the hell is paying for this? Why is the uh, TPU market share? No, not thermoplastic. I mean, you read these guys, the Forbes and everybody, they're just going to, you know, like the they're like anything off of Google. They're dying companies. Uh, so the loss uh, very rapidly collapses to 0.8. The number of um, steps here that are going to be. Yeah, it's. 2857 warm up steps. Uh, so it's you know, it's somewhere around here. 2800. Ah, uh, now man, go back here. That's where the fun is. And, um, what if I just go here? You just uh, zoom this thing and analyze this thing more carefully. So this is basically the T point. Here you see, uh, there's a very clear split of values. Either you go down or you, uh, it's, not, it's not going down. I mean, it's pretty clear what is happening. Ah, damn it. It won't learn. It won't learn. Alright. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to be coding the self-play algorithm from mu zero paper. Uh, blah 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 blah. Search. We have already written the search. Hyperparameters. Board games use the same UCB constants. Drainage, let exploration mm. noise and save 800 simulations per search in alpha zero due to the much smaller branching factor and simpler policies in Atari we use 550 simulations per search to speed up experiments uh, 3b algorithm is not very really sensitive to this choice we also use the same discount and value transformation as r2d2 data generation yeah all right generate training data with the latest checkpoint of the network updated every 1000 training steps is used to play games with mcts in board games Go, Shogi, and Chess, the search is run for 800 simulations per move to pick an action. Mm.
Right. So they're saying uh, really the generation of experience the board games domains the same exploration scheme as the one described in Alpha Zero is used. Well, this is the Alpha Zero paper. crazy 5000 TPUs oh my god these people are crazy alpha 0 and the pre previous alpha go 0 used a single machine with 4 TPUs 4 TPUs is giving you like 128 GB I mean Come on, man. Hmm. The yeah, strongest skill level is in 64 threads and hash size of 1 GB. Alpha 0 convincingly defeated all opponents, losing 0 games to Stockfish, 8 games to Elmo, blah 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 So, where is uh, this thing? Where is this self play? Where have these guys mentioned exploration scheme? Well, I mean, they do describe it here of what they're doing. We can just uh, pick that up. Exploration. The sole exception of the noise is the noise that is added to prior policy to ensure exploration. This is scaled in proportion to the typical number of legal moves for that game. The typical number of legal moves is used to scale the exploration. I mean, you, you haven't told me anything. This was scaled in the inverse proportion of the approximate number of legal moves. Okay, so uh, I mean, it's basically saying the same thing here. Okay, so it has collapsed and it is not going to be learning anything. We can see here. And ladies and gentlemen, you can also see it here. This bastard has collapsed. Uh, it's going to training now. Uh, oh, it, is, it has already gone to training. Ooh, the training, you already have a training accuracy. Interesting. 
move accuracy pretty much pumps up. Hmm. Whatever. Whoever. Uh, while the test loss is, you know, it, it, it's almost same as uh, this this model. I mean, it has to be, has to be. It's basically the same network. You just have larger context, and clearly the larger context um, is of no massive use or improvement. Let's um, let's start by writing the self code. I'm gonna be importing a lot, lot from here. Yeah, another thing is that 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 we need to add the we need to scale the noise inversely scaling what does inversely scaling what does that even mean oh it's power law Okay, so we uh, we need to inverse the scale based on the number of moves that we have. Another thing is that the mistake that I made is the scaling happens only in the root node. Digital noise DIR alpha was added to prior probabilities in the root node and not all the nodes so we need to uh, update this piece so is 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 how do i determine this is the root node oh simple i set a flag is root is equal to by default false and um, we are going to say self dot is root is equal to is root is boolean for root node right. once you have that we are going to improve it here uh, you have this you have this you have this you get the action values anyways you are going to get the action value if root node dot is root Um, no, update the no, 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 what's the exact word it's used? Uh, scale it in the inverse proportion. <laughs> paper says this and we are going to say do what the paper says uh, is equal to to the power one divided by uh, what are the legal moves this is going to be the legal moves
uh, let's just not add this thing for now because I'm unsure what this is saying yeah so the action values this is going to be action values Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, what we need is we need to import a lot of code from uh, these self clippies. See, the reason I'm doing this is my assumption is that uh, it's very hard for the network to actually determine what is a good value and what is a bad value, and it can only do that if it has uh, what do you say? If it 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 learns it using self play that is my assumption well, the value the policy is actually not decreasing see i don't need what happens with the policy i need what, to see what happens here right, cool so you see that the value uh the policy is now again decreasing which was not happening with uh my uh, the model i trained yesterday where the value basically collapsed. Alright. 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 Cool. Now we're going to stop with such an addictive thing and we are going to do some things simpler. Import this. I load the model provide loss method cool 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 uh, all these use the mean square error as loss method oh <laughs> well had that bias value head dot wait missing key in state tech unexpected key in state tech so the error is that I have a wrong code here. This is not going to be val head. This is actually going to be value head. No. All right, all right, all right, all right, cool. Is everything ready now? Policy head dot bias. Oh, policy head is um, Alright, it's going to work now. Now we define self play. What is self play? I have model M1 and I have model 2. And I have an idea of self play one game. And other than that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll need to see all the things to import which are going to be coming from game dot pi which are namely the Monte Carlo tree search I simply say MCTS and I need to give it all these values and 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 I need to, I'll import this and select action as well All right. I'm just uh, calling them to remember the functions I can use. Okay. So first we define a game. Game is simply chess dot board. Alright, chess dot board. Now we are assuming 
um, assume m1 is equal to white and m2 is equal to black so what I'm going to do is what do we do here when we start from uh, 0 what we get okay. yeah, let's just reuse this piece I'm going to start the game from scratch I have this particular board next what I do is I simply take this okay and another thing that we need to define is is root is equal to true please be color is white rc is white and and is root oh my god is root is equal to true we also need to define uh, this thing here because we are going to be using the methods uh, step three action selection select the best moves so this is the node I define I'm going to say from paper this is what I got and these are the action values that I shall be using cool so I have this I need to restart this thing to get the latest code I so for how many max moves do we want it to actually play we can define it like this max moves now we are going to say 100 moves oh no 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 100 no, not 100 moves max moves is going to be For now, let's just keep it at 10, but you can, of course, always scale that up. Should we assert that the maximum number of moves should be less than this? Uh, no, we don't really need to do that. Okay. For MID in uh, range max moves, what are you going to say? Call is equal to white if mit modular 2 is 0 else it is going to be black okay and um, model this move is equal to m1 if call is equal to white else m2 uh, get the player color and uh, get the player model okay yeah so is root is true hmm model this move uh, you know what just the model, model is fine you know, good enough and then what you do is you do an mcts perform mc 
NCTS. Cool, 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 cool. Perform the NCTS on the root node. You perform the MCTS on the board, and up to a certain depth. Uh, the depth is going to be defined as another hyperparameter, which right now is going to be equal to. Then you know what? Seen this thing? Uh, let's zoom it so you can everybody can see. Okay, depth is going to be up to ten. Uh, vocab. Yeah, I'll need to call these things from outside. I have the vocab and the INV vocab, which is the inverse vocab, and my sims is equal to 10. Where sims is the number of simulations. Cool. Now I have the root node. So what I do is all I have to do is select action root node and what do I do here select action oh, I need to give the temperature so the temperature is going to be uh, I would like it to explore a little bit more so I would like to have a higher temperature yeah yeah so the oh, where is it where is it, where is it? okay Temperature is 0 0.8. Larger temp, more variance. I select the action. This is going to return a array policy. This is going to be my policy. And for action selection, I need to use the player dot better choice okay 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 let's just make this a static method so that i am able to call this thing from anywhere i want a is going to be ah oh, shit oh i forgot what it was Oh, A is basically the options array, P is the this thing, and N is the number of samples that you want. Cool. Cool. I'm going to restart it. And um, we are going to say action is equal to where are all the legal moves? Player dot better choice legal moves uh, policy and n is equal to 1 we just want one sample and finally we define the move perform mcts and get the policy uh, distribution cool uh, get the policy distribution let's just keep it at uh, 1 for uh, because, uh, because it's 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 a starting set of games. Okay. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, the Tesla is actually far lower. Interesting. Well, it's not far lower, but it's like point three points lower. So. You know, man. Again, it there's it, it's going the it's collapsed to point eight five from that value. You know, accuracy basically crashed again. So low that it's not measuring it. And I don't know. I guess there is no certain advantage. My my hypothesis may be right. There may not be any certain advantage to having uh, learning values from the outside world. Maybe it's not possible. Okay, self-clarifying, and I need to then 
specify a move which is called from move is equal to move and action cool move actually comes from this thing on top we have to find one move object just that move from UCI if not case digit then we select a move cool and all we have to do is be game dot step move uh, that is what it accepts yeah game dot step step move and then it is going to return me whether the game is done or and the results if done then we simply say print game is over at step mid plus one because well and player color is color and this is the result cool great Perfect. So this way it's going to stop at some certain values. Cool. Kill, 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 kill. Uh, uh, does it run? Does it run? And we are going to be defining the board.fen at each step. Okay. Okay, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Self play one game. And one is not defined. Yeah, basically, because both of them are model and model. Moves is not defined. Okay. So moves is called from get moves id p dot vocab. list index out of range All right. if mid else oh wait oh uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. should probably Yeah, uh, so Moose is going to return you the correct value irrespective of whatever you choose. Move is equal to this thing. If B dot move stack, else uh, it is going to be your game fly. Move str. And this is weird. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, it's crashed. Oh, shit. What is the move? So move is this thing and action actually is going to be inverse vocab of this piece so you can see that the policy um, actually it's going up a pretty flat ish in distribution I mean we can define it things like um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, it, it's a pretty flat distribution. 
So that's 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. MCTL See, we got ten, uh, something like this here. Two to six is B to B three. Now is the move of the black. Now again the white plays C seven C six. So uh, right now it's playing with itself, which is basically what this piece of code is supposed to do, which is the player object. But uh, the player object, it's 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 much better to find if um, you use it here. So let this thing be where it is, and brrr goes my laptop. Right, so here you're seeing it's it has sh sharp uh, spike per se. Hmm. Yeah, let's just zoom it out back to 100 percent can actually see things if you can't see it go buy a bigger screen man go buy a bigger screen the legal moves is fluctuating between this and this all right now we got an even larger legal setup cool 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 So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to do the last one. Let's see. So the black is not supposed to play. And uh, finally, black plays this. You get this particular move. You can again see it's the values are pretty skewed between a certain distribution. So at each simulation, it is going. Uh, at each simulation, MCTS is adding uh, the noise to it, which is done through this piece. Should, we should probably read a little bit more on uh, the Dirichlet noise thingy. There was there was a question on um, yeah. But oh, this is issue as well. Who Alpha Zero General? Uh, additional prior exploration is achieved by adding dirichlet noise as prior probabilities where eta is this and eta, uh, sorry, eta is this and epsilon is this. Searching this repo brings no matches to dirichlet. I think you want to be easy. By the way, how do you achieve exploration currently? Is it purely by temperature? Yes, the exploration uh, is purely by temperature in the code. Oh, I mean, temperature in the code should be fairly easy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, what does this dude do? Swag Naya, PhD in a student in CSA. Oh man, his reports have some nice followers. 
रैंडम कंसाइज डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके रैंडम एंड ग्रीडी बेसिकली वर्क द सेम वे मैन मॉडल्स Is it any better than before? It is not. However, the loss keeps decreasing below the blue one. Is it? It's like okayish sign. I'm not very bullish on that because the main problem still happens to be this. Hmm. I'll probably scale this thing even further. Yeah, you can see that it's not it's not decreasing at all. I mean, there's a beautiful drop here, but then it goes flat. It's like the same as the blue one. Oh, by the way, this model, uh, the light blue one, uh, I, I this model was trained on an epsilon, uh, the learning rate of one e minus six. And you can see it's it's not doing very well either. All these models they collapse to a certain value, and it sucks. Right now the patience is automatically set to one, which means the first um, the first iteration where it does not learn anything it stops. Which is a good sign, because that is how it should be. Okay, so we have added the self play code. Now what we need to add is we need to add the buffer. The replay buffer. Now you can use a lot of fancy tricks for it. We are just going to use a list, as simple as that. And for buffer, we are going to be. Yeah, the music paper was better. Hmm. The general training data, latest checkpoint of the network, updated every thousand training steps, is used. To, so, if you're training thousand training steps, ah, uh, sorry, one thousand, you're training every thousand steps, and you train it for say one million steps. then what that means is you have trained it for 100000 steps 100000 steps how many steps are we training it 20000 steps yeah 20000 steps i mean me I don't know what to think of our method versus what they did. I mean, they have access to five thousand TPUs. <laughs> they can do whatever the fuck they want. Test accuracy continues to be zero. We're gonna be hitting that 4K value pretty soon. Also, it is consistently decreasing, which is a good sign. But you can see that it started to flatten out a little bit because, as you should see here, the value is now flat. Hmm. All right. So we create a replay buffer, and replay buffer. We are going to save what. So in our case, for the replay buffer, all we need to know are what 
are going to, what were the predicted values and what were the moves that is it need to store x y pairs All right. so we going to write it like this this game buffer and um, we are going to be defining it like if no dot append move str vocab of move str and finally we say buffer sorry replay buffer dot extend this game buffer we are going to be stay saving the vocabulary along with the values that were predicted so cool Is that right, however? You know what? Let's take a five minutes break. I'm going to listen to some good music and we'll get back to this thing uh, it's me It's 11 o'clock. I'm going to have fun today. Go meet my friends. The new parliament building is super sexy, by the way. Hmm. Let's listen to Not Tame Impala. I want to listen to. Oh my god, it's so confusing. Let me open up my Apple Music. It's like it's like thousand x better than actually searching things on YouTube. Okay. Browse for you. Recently added. Yeah, I'll just go the recently added ones. Let's play this. Uh, I'm going to put you guys on mute now. Put myself on mute.
All right, people, let's go. So, uh, in each buffer, what we need to add is what was the move? What is the move that was that on which we got this value? Okay. Values. Cool. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to be running this thing for a couple of simulations. Sims is equal to one no, simulation. We should have two simulations. Depth is equal to 40. Now depth is 30. And max, max move is this thing. And we are going to need a replay buffer. So replay buffer is equal to this thing. Oops, it goes here. For i in range. Five. That is uh, three. I mean, um, I mean, this is good enough. Ooh, max moves. And multiple values for max moves. Oh, see, now it's working. Far better. We should also add uh, some code in MCTS that if I don't want make it T-range if T-range sorry P-bar is equal to this thing if this else it's just range cool now i am going to print the replay buffer okay, so I, it goes to zero i got this value then again goes to zero i got this value zero zero and zero cool and each time it took a different set of moves so you can see it took 934 it took 689 it took 197 it took 32 it took 196 which is just good because now this way we know that the model is actually exploring a lot of values and so what we need to do is we are going to create dev this is self play one game we are going to write self play learn and we are going to write it like this which is num games is equal to 100 now let's give it at 4 for this in this and here we are going to write mcts t range is equal to false cool t range is equal to false and uh, once you have this replay buffer, we need to write a def train model. Uh, we need to write the training code. Um, and then possibly share the replay buffer here. Yeah, uh, by default, it's going to be an empty list share this thing self play this is this is basically just a loop uh, i don't think i need a special function for this so we are going to write def learn by self play i have the replay buffer no i don't have anything i simply say num games is equal to 10 train every um is equal to no, 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 no. f 
for I in range we have the buffer for I in range num games I do this I keep on generating the filling the update buffer but then what I say is then what I say is if I uh, train every is, is equal to zero if I and this section where we train the model oh yeah this is the place where we are going to train the model and the model code the training code is actually going to be coming from here which is trainer okay so i think we'll need to write another trainer method um mm, 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 mm. no you don't actually need to do that see i am passing it the train data set and the test data set along with the config so what we need to write is convert to a full data set preloaded yeah that's what you need so here we need to convert the buffer into a uh, data set a um, touch dot data dot data set for feeding into uh, the trainer dot train object uh, sorry object directly so what we are going to see is for the there is something called priority replay that these guys use for selecting what uh, moves should be actually sent into the training piece yeah um not this not this not this Symmetries, policy network, classification, policy network, reinforcement learning, value network, and regression. Right, what, what do these guys say about self play? I like DeepMind. DeepMind has good papers for some reason like I feel like a lot of papers are not clear but I think I'm actually a bit stupid that's the reason why a lot of people uh, names are not clear to me simple I oh, so it took like 44 million games to actually learn properly yeah I don't think we'll need that but okay who knows And let's also try to get uh, stockfish working on our system while we're at it. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. It's, 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 it's decreasing. It's decreasing. Oh, wow. It's actually... It actually just went below point. What has happened? Oh shit, it's learning people. Oh, it's learning, it's learning, it's learning. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Um, 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 um. Yeah, that's it. I have much higher noise now. So it's right now it's uh, evaluating, it's at 5000 steps and it is going to tell us 
at 5,000 steps. What it thinks is you are loss value. Hmm. Crazy these things actually learn. That's crazy. You can actually identify why they do not learn. Six point four two zero. So four six point six nine was the much larger drop and six point four two zero. Nice. Six point six nine and six point four two zero. Nice. Oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. It's learning now. Yeah. The drop is like somewhat linear. You go boy, you go, go boy, go boy, bye boy. And uh, you uh, you see the policy. So the policy is consistently decreasing, which is a very very good sign. Right. And um, yeah, so it's learning. It's learning something. That's for sure. For sure. Well, let's um, let's uh, let's zoom in a little bit and see more clearly. Yeah, I want to just analyze this piece. Man, there are these are these lines are pretty huge. It's actually decreasing very fast. Crazy. Uh, it went flat and then it just went down like that. But the reason. Uh, oh, it's going down, boy. It's going down, people. It's going down. Like, damn. Right. right so uh let's get back to this uh i was reading in in one of the paper i did read about the priority replay which is now this is the only paper that i haven't opened yet there's something right here which is priority replay okay Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Domain knowledge, self play, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, this is this. Is, this is used to the best performing player so far. Alpha Theta Prime is used to generate Alpha Theta Star, sorry, is used to generate the new self play data. Sick 4 GPU worker, Sick 19. CPU parameter server batch size is 32 per worker for total mini batch size of 2048. Each mini batch size is sampled uniformly at random from all positions for the most recent 500,000 games of self play. Well, there is something called priority replay. I don't know what it is, so let's read about it. Prioritized experience replay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Understanding this thing, understanding this thing, understanding this thing. Yeah, I should probably read the stack of law and source as well. Hmm. As implementing TQ and mounted guard problem. Oh, oh my god. I'm so sleepy. According to paper, there are two ways for calculating pi and is uh, and base is your choice. Your implementation differs as you know, use proportional prioritization that you should sum tree data structure for storing the pair transitions and pi. Pi is just the normalized version of pi. Yeah, <sighs> this is all this fancy shit. Hmm. 
Experience Replay lets online reinforcement learning agents remember and reuse experiences from past. In the prior work, experience transitions were uniformly sampled from replay memory. However, this approach simply replays transitions at the same frequency they were originally experienced, regardless of their significance. In this paper, we develop framework for prioritizing experience so as to replay important transitions more frequently and therefore learn more efficiently. Okay. Oh, the blind cliff walk example. Now you can see uh, the oracle method it actually requires significantly less samples. Okay, 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 this is it. Store transition this. For this, for this, do sample transition like this. How do you define this thing? pi is equal to 1. Compute important sampling weight. Which is this thing. Compute TD error, which is this thing. Update transition priority, which is this thing. Accumulate weight change, which is this thing. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, no, oh, we are not going to use this. And the reason we are not going to use this is that unlike these cases where you have a board state and you get an output, so for each given frame, so what's happening in, in these battle zone alien asterisk things is that given a, you are given um, a, an image and you're supposed to take an action now based on those set of um, uh, on that state if it is important to take that action but that's not that's not the case with our our um, our thing because unlike these things all we have is this data all we have is the moves and what are the proportional values of those moves so yeah, just a minute people, I have to close the window. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, kids are playing, they're making a lot of noise, but it's fine. Yeah. So we are going to use a very simple, um, simple method which is what these guys did is you simply store the <laughs> simply store the most recent positions of self play and uh, that's it oh yeah learning rate is annealed yeah um, mm, 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 mm. i don't know how this piece is going to work yeah other thing is you cannot actually send it to trainer or train object why is because if you send it it's going to ah uh, see what it is going to do is that it's going to reinitialize a lot of these things which is model lot of live weights and even if i just mask that piece it is going to use a learning rate scheduler but i need to use the learning rate scheduler across multiple calls and so i we will have to write a separate trainer function all right so um first is train every and we set a buffer size oh shit other thing that we store is the um trainer config because we will need to call certain things and the training here because it is happening right here it has a different trainer config than the one we use for self play uh, or one we used for uh, uh, supervised learning ah it keeps going down 
Nice, nice, nice. Ah, this is a good network. So it turns out in order to actually effectively learn value, you need longer sequences. Wow. Oh, that's a good realization oh we are we need to mark this we need to put this in the readme value error um, the longer sequence lengths actually help bold uh, what, what else do we need uh, these are updates from last week uh, it's, it's from this is 5 and this thing actually has to go above up here yeah And what are the updates for today, which is uh, the 13-12. After training 40, no, actually, wow, after training like, damn, 99 networks. After training 99 networks, I have realized that longer sequence length, longer sequences train better networks, which also corresponds to what was said in the neural scaling law paper, where they demonstrated that the loss for the last token is usually very less compared to one for the earlier tokens um, self play code started adding uh, what should we say self play code started code started yeah it's not completed right. so you have this what we are what we need to say is At each step, buffer del buffer. We just need to keep the last fifty thousand steps. <sighs> if len buffer is greater than buffer size. Then we need to delete the last up to len buffer minus buffer size. Free up memory, people. also need to write a tournament code which is once the training is complete um, convert so for self trainer self -play trainer is different yeah uh, we delete this piece uh, we free up the memory first And then what we say is 
now the training step should we write it here no this should actually go up here and now the training is complete so perform a tournament tournament and update the best model okay this thing you know uh, ideally should have been a class but I hate that kind of thing I like the functional shit oh man I'm so happy it's learning ah it's learning so good good model good good model you know what oh fuck you blue ones no you know what i want to close this because it's no longer needed and i am going to be closing the blue one both the blue ones simple simple plain effect sundar ati sundar and the test loss and the loss per epoch is also starting to decrease which makes sense as the curve is starting to flatten but what i'm going to do is i'm going to let this shit run for uh, then its entirety let's see what happens then let's see what happens then So dev train, I get the buffer. Um, I have to select the buffer size, which should be assert has attr config. Um, oh, do we sample the entire thing? Let's read a little bit more. Hmm. So it keeps the latest 500,000 games, but of course uh, it doesn't train all the time, clearly. What I mean by that is it is not going to be using this entire thing for training. Oh no, it, it would, it would actually. <laughs> this is brilliant actually, you know. If you think about it, it's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant that this works. Super long.
Asynchronous policy and value this thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yada, yada, yada. The alpha goes zero paper is actually better than the alpha zero paper. Alpha and alpha zero paper, they don't really describe anything. They just need to fill a paper up and they did that. But, you know what, who am I to say this? They are far better than I have been. So, you basically train on all the 500,000 games of self-play. Oh, it's on moves, it's 500,000 games. Shit. Hmm. In another experiment, I'll need to see what happens if I keep this thing running for multiple epochs. Does th does it overfit or uh, uh, what happens? I mean, the model, these models overfit. Overfitting is it possible? Hmm. Interesting. I found fine dealing with transformers. I need to explain exactly what's the best way. Using this, uh, here's an example of so interesting large batches to prevent overfitting. Often, fine tuning a transform will cause overfitting, meaning you can't use all your data. Using large batches and high amount of gradient accumulation seems to get slightly better results. And I'll let, and let me use all my data. This is much slower, of course. Okay, well, many people have been using Bird and Jeep to do with unconventional losses and techniques. Ah, okay. Adding new head, completely fine tuning, adding intermediate layers, concatenating features from all hidden layers, taking maximum mean of the second to last layer, and so on. My favorite is to take a frozen bird, concatenate the hidden layers, and apply a few simple linear layers. quantities quantiles of turbulence within the buckets the samples are shuffled apex uh, also reduces training in training finding the right learning rate amount of train data is uh, to use is tricky more than 1 million samples in a model overfits or overtrains the word vectors so freezing those after a simple learning rate okay, yeah. And you this, 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 this. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Uh, we're wasting our time. Wasting time is a bad thing. Time is a valuable thing. Yeah. As is there. So uh, the idea is that you're going to train on the entire buffer. So it doesn't really matter uh, what you do. Sorry. And for this, we are going to be utilizing a lot of code from here, which uh, takes uh, this thing. Yeah. 
and now for train we also need to define our all our schedulers right here because these are the global values define the global schedulers here hmm. so the way it's going to work is we are going to be using uh, this thing Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. Beautiful. Uh, set up correct schedule. Well, uh, I don't know which schedule is good. I mean, learning from supervised learning is one thing. Self play learning is going to be a whole different nightmare. You know what? Let's add the blue ones just so. It looks beautiful. <laughs> All these schedulers, we also need to define something like this. Another thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to define so optimizer. Ah shit. Ah shit. This is tricky. Optimizer is going to be Hey wait wait wait. We using uh wait decay? Ah, it's using a weight decay and the this thing. Nice, 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 nice. This is ninety three, but ninety three plus weight decay. Oh yes, and uh, max len is equal to max len is equal to 170, which is 85 times 2. Hmm. Oh, and Adam W. Wait again, Adam W and Max Len is equal to 170. Lost policy, much better. LR, eh, move accuracy, test accuracy, test loss, regression, test regression. Yeah, we don't we don't have text text test regression value here because it's not needed. Also, uh, this is not 93, but 90. Oh, miss something else. However, the optimizer has to be defined at runtime for each model. So we have the buffer, we have we need the model that we'll be using for training and config is the uh, self.config. 
yeah config is self.config we have the scheduler now we need to convert this thing to our buffer and the way to do that is you have the config in the mm -mm -mm. we need the module config and we need model config to actually set it up up to max max level and data uh, ds is equal to data set oh it's going to be the fully fully loaded data set thing yeah fully loaded and uh, we have np dot array buffer minus one times oh we, we also need to add uh, checks here the check is going to be like this that buffer up to minus times the length of buffer modulo model config dot max length e shape this because opposite of um, supervised because um, because because we, we we don't want uh, the first tokens in the buffer are always going to already have been used once and so we use it because first tokens would have already been used once and this thing and it goes simply model Uh, now I send oh this is the buffer this is the buffer this is the buffer this is the buffer wait 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 um, the buffer then now needs to be split like this into LMs and results so the LMs actually is buffer and all the uh, zero token here while this is buffer and all the first index tokens here now I do uh, the simple thing which is uh, I, I simply reshape this to does this work yeah so I take the buffer I take top tokens and then um, I'm going to merely reshape it to some uh, giant 3D tensor. This is n cross, sorry, uh, this is uh, t cross n cross 2. This is going to be t cross n, and this is again going to be t cross n, fully data set loaded. And I need to feed, feed, it, feed it two things. One is the LMs and results and M2 ID is none because well I'm not using it here so it's fine <laughs> oh shit 
I already need to define the optimizer here just a minute Alright, uh, for learning rate we already need to define the optimizer. Hmm. Yeah. Is there some way to make it learn even faster? That would be something. Maybe. Cool. What happens if I do this? Hmm. No, it's not any big change, so it's fine. All right. So the problem here with scheduler like this is I already need to define I uh, I need to define the scheduler or uh, the optimizer prior to actually training it well this is not going to work because and the reason this is not going to work is uh, the optimizer is defined on the model and the model always comes at runtime uh, by runtime, I mean when whenever this kind of objects get called, uh, this object gets called. This is when I get the new model. <sighs> okay, so you know what? Um, let's do one thing. I'll finish this uh, some other time. I need to think on it. So I have the model. I have the best model is the is initially the model and then what I do is I cannot compete these two which is self player one game and I can actually define a tournament Discord for uh, T in range. Um, what should we call it? Tournament size. Self play one game. The new model is this thing. Oh shit. Oh, this. Uh, if I do this, it needs a buffer. It's gonna start filling up the buffer. Oh no, 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 we don't want that. Replay buffer is equal to none. Because we, we what we are going to do is we are going to do this if reflip buffer is not none do this uh, 
else return they are done and resolved right so if this stops then uh, done is going to be true anyways and result will tell me if it is a win or loss and I also need to return the MID <laughs> if result is equal to win okay so move ID this is going to be tell me the color of the bastard who won this game oh but this by the way is also call not color yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just need these two which is and uh, I am going to give it model best model uh, vocab and we will have replay buffer is equal to none and this thing yeah if res is, is equal to win yeah people we are here for winning no I don't know if winning should be like the ultimate game uh, point of things. If win and uh, let's just return it call. And call is, is equal to black, sorry, white. This means new model one and we are going to be randomly uh, flipping between these two as white what that means is if key um, model 2 is equal to 0 then uh, m1 is equal to model M2 is equal to best model else we say that M1 is equal to best model M2 is equal to model what that means is half of the time it's going to play like uh, uh, for 50% almost 50% of cases um, play as white and other times play it as black this this way it, it gets the experience of um both the games and uh, win call is equal to white because the white is supposed to win and here the win call is supposed to be black so if result is equal to win and call is, is equal to win call the new model one a new model wins we simply upgrade this thing cool now we say if new model wins upon tournament size size is greater than 0 0.55 then uh, Dell best model do we delete the best model hmm I think we should keep like um, an extra set of um, attributes that is basically the best weights hmm yeah so we train it and then we also need to do um, a checkpoint save yeah so we need to do a checkpoint save this way we'll know what uh, the best model parameters are 
Yeah, save checkpoint. Def save checkpoint. Secret bridge path is done. And so uh, what you have is you're going to have a trainer which is self play trainer. And you are going to say trainer dot train. I don't know how this thing is going to work, but still. And then you're going to say trainer dot save checkpoint. And you are going to define it. Security path is equal to. There should be something like a global step. Self dot gs is equal to zero. This is the global step for self play learning. Yeah. So the CKPK path by default is is none and what we need to do is ckpt path is equal to ckpt path plus up to minus three which is dot pt and um, we write uh, f underscore dot pt cool and we are going to return the new checkpoint path just for reference latest ckpt path is equal to none and this way i get this thing say checkpoint train on this buffer save after training cool kill 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 and we are going to say best model so um should the best model be actually def already defined I don't think it should be instead what we are going to have is best model path is equal to none and so what we are going to do is if best model math is equal to none Noner, like boner i don't know best model ah but it's going to learn the parameters of it ah. we need to have something at the last moment uh, wait a minute guys i'm getting a call yellow Yeah, so uh, we'll need to define something like uh, we'll need the model along with. So does the model object model? Ah, oh, it's so confusing. We need to define the model and the model. See, path. If best path is this, then this is gonna be this. Uh, cool. 
I know we need to find the best model. Like this. goes here we will also need to convert the model uh, to model dot eval actually eval is the default state it goes to train only here otherwise it's going to use all the normalization shit yeah and we load it you have the best model and you run the best model you find it and here you say best model path is equal to a oh fuck latest security path that's it and you don't need to define it like this because after first after the first iteration it is by default going to be here best model path is equal to this Player, if the new player wins, uh, not the new player wins 55% of the games, then uh, update the path. Cool. Alright. So after learn by self play all we have to do is return the test model hmm let's write the talk string for this because i know i'll, I'll forget it this method uh, this method takes in a model and makes it fight and it makes a data set from competing with each other this is then over a certain number of steps over a certain number of steps and then takes a model makes a data set and then um, trains once the buffer is full with buffer is full and um, uh, and performs a tournament between the players to identify the best model cool to identify the best model returns um best model path path to checkpoint of the best model okay and uh best model is equal to best model best model is equal to best model uh base And config is actually just model of config. Cool. Ah, uh, that's it. I think I think that is it for this particular stream. 
we'll add this piece which is self play one game to oh we should probably add it self play is going to be a huge thing in itself it's still part of the model object yeah so model.py has three of three pieces there's a data set there is a trainer and there is a model so it, it should be the part of this thing actually Self-play and um, we'll also need to add this piece. <sighs> Tournament size. You also have the vocabulary words, vocab, trainer config, it goes here, it says for trainer, blah 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 call is this, okay, that's it, now, I think that's it for this stream, that is it for this stream uh, in the next stream we are going to uh, we are going to make the uh, training buffer work a little bit better uh, actually just build it up and see if the model actually learns yeah so just before you go let's just see the status of uh, this model uh, how good it is uh, oh did it move not exactly sure Add readme. We need also need to update the readme uh, self play code. Um, 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 started can fill a buffer. All right, GSE get add this get commit dash m self play. Code and get push. Ha, I was dominant there. Cool. So we have this thing done, and 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 finally, let's just check it once on this thing. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh. Okay, that's it for this stream. That's it for this stream. Sunday was super productive. Recorded for two and a half hours. And now I'm going to have fun with my friends. Cool. Bye bye.